Well, the film, I think, is interesting because it's not often that people um, have the time, money and energy and imagination to put uh, together a film like this, especially in an area um, where there weren't many people who had cameras many years ago. You have to go to more affluent parts of the country where home movies uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago um, might have been made by people who uh, could afford a camera. Um, not so much here in a town like Sunderland all of those years ago. Plus the fact when you had heavy industry, again, it wasn't the subject of film except for the occasional visit by important people and the launch of a ship. And in news terms, when there was a strike or industrial dispute of some sort at the shipyards or the pits, um, somehow industrial cities didn't really attract much in the way of coverage. So to dig out the bits that there are, to put them together, and it does, well, it evokes another world. Because this is a town which is very, very different from a century ago, when it was at the top of its game, um, a thriving city which had expanded in Victorian times, with grand buildings, lots of civic pride, a great deal of civic energy uh, and activities. And then with the decline of heavy industry, the town has changed. So um, for at least for most of my life, I've seen a town undergoing change, and not all of it terribly welcome. But we live now in a very different world. Uh, though the film, I think, will probably remind people of um, what seems like another place. In February, we did a, a film show with uh, the Washington 50 project. Had 300 people uh, at the Bidley Academy in, in Washington, and we wanted to replicate that in Sunderland. So we we approached the Sunderland Council and the library service to work with them to make these films accessible and to put together this Sunderland on film screening. Uh, we managed to get such a fantastic venue that I'm in now, the Sunderland Minster, uh, and what we've tried to do is tell a, take people on a journey, a story through Sunderland from 1904 right up to the 1980s. Uh, the good, the bad, um, you know, slum areas being de uh, demolished, um, you know, pickets in 1972 at Unsworth Colliery, but also, you know, the Nissan uh, car plant, the lovely Sunderland Echo, uh, the bus services, the trams. It's a real uh, mix of Sunderland over the years, and we really hope that people will tell us their memories and stories, and in this building, in this fantastic backdrop, people will just get talking, it'll evoke memories, give people a sense of pride and identity and ownership of these images. We, we are custodians of these films, we care for them as a charity, but what they are, uh, you know, it's film heritage of the region and of Sunderland, and we're bringing it back out to people.